Hello you guys, it's Herpy Derpy. So you might be wondering, wait, Herpy Derpy? This isn't a Pokemon video. What are you doing? So for my 100 subscribers special, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna re how I record my videos, and I just wanna just give back to all you subscribers for just really helping me out. And I'm gonna show you guys how I record everything and how everything works out, so you, uh, as a subscriber, can also make some start making some videos because everyone can do this and it's really easy. And you guys can start your own channel. You could probably like get some things going and. And we can really expand the Pokemon community. So, first thing you need is whoa. Uh, first thing you need is something as a as a screen recording program. So, as a Mac user, uh, ScreenFlow is probably your best option. So, uh, but for a PC, I know that Camtasia also works really well too. So, uh, so go ahead and do that. So, download that. Get like you can probably get a free trial and stuff like that. And now, once you get your, once you like get understand how to like, uh, once you download your, uh, recording software, there's always gonna be an option where you can record, where you can record full screen. And I know for Camtasia, I think it also offers like you can make a selected window. It doesn't really matter whichever one you want. I like full screen because I never know where I'm really gonna like place where I'm gonna record this stuff. So, whatever. Um. Now, um. Now the next step is to download Pokemon Online, and I know on. A lot of you are familiar with it, but some of you aren't. So for those who aren't familiar with it, Pokemon Online is basically a program that is like it's essentially it's like playing on it's like playing on your DS against other people. So uh, when I launch Pokemon Online, it's gonna show you this window. So you can go to a team builder. You can like build your own team. Like here's like my sunny day team, and uh, and then uh, also when you. Uh, uh, it also has an option where you can go online, and so if I go online, there's a bunch of servers, right? So Pokemon, so there's two main servers I usually go on. One is Pokemon Online, which is the main server I'm almost always a I'm on, and the second one is Smogon, and Smogon has their own server. I usually go on Smogon when I play, uh, like my matches with like subscribers. You, you can usually find me. And the big Pokemon online server, and then we can usually move to the Smogon servers because I usually like to play in Smogon tiers. So we're gonna, go, I'm gonna go on a Pokemon online server, and you know it's like it's like kind of like the same as usual if you ever seen it before. So here, if you already made a team, you can click the Find Battle button, and you can click Find Battle, and it'll magically find another person who's in the same tier as you, and you want to fight. So we both have a Sunny Day team. Kind of surprising. Wow, it's really similar. Um, well, he's just going to forfeit, whatever. So, that's not the point. So, the point is that every time you start a battle, you're going to get a log that saves whatever happens in the battle. And the way you're going to do it is that if you go to battle options, uh, you can go uh, you on the battle options tab, You can there's an option where it says save battle logs. You want to make sure this is on because what this does is that after you finish your battle, even it might be like one turn or like five million turns, it's going to save everything that happened in the battle. So you want to you're gonna want to make sure that this is turned on, like a hundred percent. And there's also another but uh option called change log folder, and you want to make sure you save your log into a place where you know you'll remember where it is. I made a folder called Pokemon Online Log just to keep myself organized. So you can do this too if you want. I don't really care. And now 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 let's say you do finish a battle and you do get a log. So what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna go on this website, and this is the this is how I get my video. So there's a website called Pokemon.asoft.org. I'm gonna leave a link on the description box and as an annotation right here. So uh, what you're gonna do is that you're so this website what it does is that it takes a log from Pokemon Online and it turns it into an animated video. So this isn't so this is like. So all my battles that I played on Pokemon Online aren't animated, by the way. I have to go to this website. Sorry, I kind of like half burp a little. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, do you want to? So what this website does is it takes your log, turns it into a video, animates a little bit. So you're gonna. So if you click on uh, choose file, you can pick a a log that you want to convert into a video. So let's say I want to do, ooh, uh, like, uh, sunny day number one. So I'm going to click convert and that's going to convert everything up and now you're going to see this display screen and this is the same display screen that you always see me when I start my videos so yeah so here there's an option you can turn on some music so that's why you always hear a tiny bit of Pokemon battle music in the background 
you can change the speed of the battle at any time you want. I usually like to keep it at normal, but when I'm explaining stuff, I like to keep it at slow, or when it's, I keep it on fast if it's a stally part. So it's kind of really, really convenient. So you don't have to do, you don't have to physically edit and like fast forward and slow down parts, which is really nice. So let's say I'm ready to record. I'm going to turn on all my recording software, like right here, and I'm and I'm going to like introduce myself, blah, 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 and I'm going to press play. So you're going to hear the music, and then you're going to see all the stuff happen and stuff like that. You, there's a lot of things you can like skip turn if you don't want to wait, and then you can also go to turn. So that's a really unique thing. So I can go back to turn one, let's say, go back to the very first turn. I can reset the battle, and then I can like pause the video if I really have to explain something or something like that. So that's kind of convenient. So this is how it works. So there's a little chat log on the side which shows like what's going on. So if you ever get lost or anything like that, you can always refer to the chat log to make sure you're on track. I sometimes do that if I'm ever derping around. And yeah, so what I do is that this window right here, this is the only part I include in my videos. And how I do this is that I crop it, uh, I and I edit the video in my whatever program you use to record. Because when you finish recording, at least for ScreenFlow, what you're gonna get is something like this, where you're gonna have your video uh, at the bottom, and you're gonna have like your audio to the video, and you can like, and what you can do is that originally, it's not like this. Originally, uh, how do I explain this? Um, let me start. Uh, let me start a new document. And I'll just open, oh god, I'll open like this. So let's say I open this, right? So it might, it might appear like in the screen, but originally, this is what it is. So this is originally what it is. And what I do on ScreenFlow is that there's a cropping button right here. This is like the universal crop button, by the way. And I just like cut it down just to the point where I want it. So like, that's good drag this corner that's good perfect so this is exactly the window I want so I just crop out everything else just have that window and that's what you guys see so I'm just gonna press apply and I just upload and then the nice thing about screen flow is that you can upload straight to YouTube I'm not sure if Camtasia can do that so I'm gonna publish to YouTube and go like Kirby Yerpy da 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 put in my password and that's it so that's how I record my videos so I hope this tutorial like made sense I'm not sure if it did, but let me know like if what you guys think. Like, go ahead, try it out right now. Uh, like, download Pokemon Online if you don't have it. Uh, go to make sure you have this website bookmarked, and you can easily access it. I'm gonna leave both of those links on this video, so if you and on the description box, so if you ever like forget how to access it, you can just always come back to this video. So I hope you liked it. So I hope. I hope you like this tutorial I made. This is my first time actually making a tutorial like this. So uh, just feel free to just, just like share this with your friends if you ever want to like feel like you want to commentate a video and like go ahead and like spread this around because I really want to try to get other people to use this program and I don't think a lot of people are aware of it. So I really hope this answered the main question that people have had for me. I don't want to hear any more like comments about it. Just please like if you're just trolling me, just please don't. It, it kind of bugs me a little bit. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this is a great way to give back to you guys as my 100 subscriber special. So, see you guys later.